up my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl Pamela Janani welcome back to my channel what is the why my beautiful tribe happy Sunday let's tap into this message if you guys are not subscribed please go ahead and do so right now support your girl on this journey that I always say is bigger than me because it is all right let's go so they tried to ruin your reputation and slightly damage theirs let's go so things are not going well for a lot of the people who who, who committed a lot of corruption against you. Corruption doesn't have to be in the physical, it's in the spiritual as well. And your enemies have done just that. They lied about you, about what you do, about who you are, and so much more. For many of these people, okay, you threw in the towel. You threw in the towel. Yes, they gave you a dirty towel and you decided to throw it in, which is really, really normal, right? But for your, a lot of you guys, if you're like me, people have done a lot of things to you and you decided to wash that towel over and over again to see if it will be clean, if it will appear to be clean so that you can keep it, so that you can keep it in your life and stay around it, okay? Do you know what I'm saying? But this time, a lot of you guys, you threw in the towel. Whether or not you were forced to, you could have held on to it, okay? You could have taken that dirty towel and, and, and try to repeat over and over, but you threw it in. And this is something that a lot of your enemies did not expect you to do. They didn't expect you to throw in that towel because sometimes you didn't. Let's go. They treated you poorly, right? And you stuck around, but this time you said no and threw in the towel. These people say that you are not nice, that your mind is not right. These are words. A lot of our enemies just used a lot of words and no no action. There's no follow-up of what they said about you, about who you are, what you do. There's nothing that they can provide that is proof about their lies. What's up? Okay, I'll change it for you in a second, love. There's no proof. But if you wanted to, to bring out the receipts, if you wanted to bring out the proof, you could, but you didn't. Because God's people don't have to do that. God's people don't have to retaliate and get angry and hold grudges. We just let God do his thing in perfect timing and his timing. That is, that is it. You don't have to spill their beans. You don't have to lie. You don't have to do any of that. But just let God do what he does best. Provide justice to all. Which is what you did. For many of these people, they kept your name in their mouths. Oh, a lot. A lot. And, and they kept your name in their mouths so much that when these people that they are around look at them, they see you. And this is not something that your enemies want because they're faced with what they have done to you every single day because they can tell by the look in these people's faces that they see you when they see them. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, many people sit around your enemies, okay, and they avoided the truth. They, they, they knew the truth. They knew that these people were lying to them in their faces and they did nothing. These are the people that we do not want to sit around. These are the people that we do not want to sit around, but people who only sit around these people are the people who are like them. They, it, it's true. These people, birds, what, what is this saying? Birds of a feather flock together. I don't know that saying, okay, but like stays with like do you know what i'm saying this is why i can't fake the funk with anybody i can't i can't i used to be able to fake the funk with some of these 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 moms that i would that i would come in contact with but i knew that they were not my cup of tea right and if i'm not your cup of tea that's cool i'm good over here but they were not my cup of tea mine and I used to hang around them and go to these little events and everything, knowing that I wasn't their cup of tea and that they're not mine. And those days are done. I'm welcoming my tribe. I'm welcoming people that love me and my children wholeheartedly. From the top of our head to the soles of our feet, we are okay and beautiful to them. This is not a love thing. This is a friendship thing. This is a family thing. This is a bond thing, a forever thing. Do you know what I'm saying? There's no faking the funk. And our enemies are surrounded by people that fake the funk. I don't want it. Let's go. These people of uh, these enemies got way too comfy in their sin, way too comfy in their lies, way too comfy. Okay. Um, they surround themselves with people who are like them. This is why one more time before I end this video, that is real short, sweet and simple. It is important to be careful who you hang around. Because a lot of people pretend like they are something that they're not. And they're trying to plant seeds intentionally 
and unknowingly inside of you to make you become like them. And as you plant things in life, even though in my other video today, their seeds will not grow. If you allow them to grow, these rotten seeds, they will grow. They will grow if you allow them to. But if you are connected to God, no growth at all. They Automatically, they don't grow. Automatically, the seeds that your enemies plant inside of you will not grow. But if you are not connected to God and you're okay with participating in sin and you're okay with being in the middle, trying to be in the middle of God and Satan, if that is what's going on, those rotten seeds will plant themselves inside of you. And one day, unknowingly, you are going to behave in the way that they do. Be careful about who you hang around, okay? I love you guys so much. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.